Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing how to upload fonts from Defont.com to Cricut Design Space on your phone or iPad. The first section, I'll show you how to do this on your iPhone or iPad, and the last section, I'll show you on an Android device. You'll want the iFont app downloaded on your iOS device, which is your iPhone or iPad, and the Fonto app downloaded on your Android device to get started. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here and download my free Cricut reference guides if you are new to the Cricut. I have those linked in my description box. First, open up Safari and type in defont.com. Once you're in Defont, choose the font you want to download. I am going to choose the font called Hello. Scroll over to the download button, then select that. Another screen will pop up that says, do you want to download Hello Zip? Select the download button there. A circle with an arrow pointing down will pop up in the corner. If this isn't popping up, then you need to update your iOS device, then select that. Select Hello, then it will take you to the Downloads folder. Once you are there, you'll see the zip file for the Hello font. Select that and it will automatically pull up the blue folder. Select the folder, then it will bring you to a few files. If you select on the README files, it'll show you how you can use this font. This one is for personal use, but you can contact the creator to buy a commercial license. There will be an OTF file and a TTF file. After filming this video, I looked up the difference. The OTF version is newer and has extended features. If you are a designer or a typesetter, you'll want to choose the OTF file. If not, it probably doesn't matter which file you choose. I chose the TTF file, but I'll probably start choosing the OTF file each time now because usually it does have some extra characters or glyphs. After selecting the file, select the Upload button, which is the square with the arrow pointing up. Scroll all the way over to the three dots that says More, then select Copy to iFont. I put on the side of the screen here what the picture of the app looks like. The iFont app will automatically pull up, then select Files. Find the Hello font on the side, then select Install. A screen will pop up, then choose Next until you get to the last screen that says Install. Click Allow, then Close. Next, go over to your Settings. Choose Profile Downloaded. Click on install and then install again. There are a lot of steps and a lot of times that you have to click install. Now we can finally go into our Cricut app. If the application is already open on your device, then close out of it and reopen it. Select text. Select either system or all fonts to be able to have it pop up and there it is. There's definitely a lot of steps, but it's really great to be able to add different fonts onto your mobile device. Next, I'll show you how to do this on an Android device. It's not as easy and you have to have kind of a workaround to make it work. I don't believe there's a way to actually install the font into Cricut Design Space, so you need to write out your words in the Fonto app, then save it as a PNG or an image. If you have an Android device, let us know if there's an easier way, but this is the only way that I have found so far. Go into your Chrome or Safari app and search for defont.com. Find your font. I'm going to use the Hello font again, then select Download. You'll get a pop-up that asks if you want to download the zip file. Select Download. Then select Open. You'll want your Fonto app already downloaded onto your Android device. You will see it will automatically pop up with the three files and at the top it shows Fonto. I installed the TTF file, but like I said earlier, I'll probably start installing the OTF files. Click on Install, then click OK. 
Open up the Fonto app, then tap on that grid and choose Plain Images. Select on the white square, then select Use. The white square will pop up, then select on the pencil on the top of the screen, then you'll be able to add your text. I typed out Hello, then chose Font. Make sure you are under My Font for the installed font to show up. You can see the Hello font is there. Select on that, then click Done. I make the text bigger, but make sure to keep it in that white square. There's probably a way to make this white square transparent so you just have the text, which would make this process a little faster, but I did not figure out how to do that. If anyone knows how to make this white square transparent, let us know in the comments. Now click on the download button, which is the square with the arrow pointing down. It'll ask you if you want to save it as a JPEG or PNG. I choose PNG, then click Save. Now go into Cricut Design Space, choose Upload, then select from Photo Library. Select the image, then it will pull it up on the Clean It Up screen. Select the Remove Wand, then tap on the white background, including the inside of the letters. That is when a transparent background would come in handy, so if anyone knows how to do that, let us know. You can zoom in by pinching your fingers together on the screen to make it easier to remove the background. I accidentally selected the text a couple times, so you can also select undo if that happens. Click next, then name your image, and save as either a cut or print and cut depending on your project. Select the image, then insert it into Cricut Design Space. And there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will try to answer them. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other video tutorials you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.